pass or fail, you're looking at a water storage tank with a relief valve. Now, I thought about a whole bunch of different things I could throw at you as a tier three class to go for you to tell me some of the things that you have been studying, which some of you are struggling with. And across the top of this, you see a whole bunch of vacuum relief valves. You see one, two, three, four, five, six, and there's one behind that gauge, which is seven. Now, some of you know exactly what I'm talking about. This was a plumber who was very good at what he did. Knew that he had a cold water feed that was a particular size. Knew that he was using, I think those are all half inch vacuum relief valves. Uh, and what he had to do with them when he was feeding the uh, water heater. One of the questions I was going to propose to you all was what was the actual size of the cold water supply based on how many vacuum relief valves you see there? Which is one of the, one of the questions that you have been seeing week to week or even this week, I think, or maybe the last week was the last week. Cold, you size a vacuum relief valve, one pipe diameter smaller than the cold water inlet or the drain to which it's or the drain, whichever is larger. Uh, we have never done the reverse where the question gives you, this is how many vacuum relief valves have been installed on a water heater. What was the most likely size of the cold water supply feeding the water heater? All questions work in reverse. It's the same question, it's just in reverse. So when you see something like this, or if it's just words, if they say, if this turned into not a picture in your exam, which is not a lot of pictures on the exam, it's a lot of words. Um, you have a water heater that's been supplied with seven half inch vacuum relief valves. What was the size of the, size of the cold water supply feeding the hot water heater? Or the water heater, hot water heater, same thing. You all know what I'm talking about? Or am I talking for foreign language? <laughs> Get it? You're seeing the easy way. You haven't seen the reverse way. I don't know if I threw a reverse way into this quiz, but it's the reverse. Same formula, diameter squared of the larger over the diameter squared of the smaller. The only thing is you were choosing to, you needed to understand again that code piece in section 1014 about vacuum relief valves being sized based on one pipe diameter smaller than the inlet. Pass or fail, what do you think? You can see some of what's going on. What do you think? Based on what you've learned so far, See if this color goes up better. No, that's thanks to Is that relief valve pushed down. Um, yep, that's okay. That's part of Mass General Law, Chapter 142, and a little bit of stuff you're reading in Section 1014 near the end, which I think you kind of were finishing that up. Um, you can push it down, you can push it down, but hopefully that uh, element is deep inside that tank. Should you have uh, another vacuum relief valve? Um, so if you're saying that, then I'm thinking you're looking at pipe size. Correct, two and a half inch. I think it's only two inch. Two inch. I don't know. That looks like a two and a half inch. I can't tell. I wouldn't get that critical. The two inch doesn't have those types of fittings. That has to use the big ring set XL. Yeah, I was pretty sure this was two inch. No, he's right, Norm. You need the XL for those fittings. <clears throat> oh, really? 
Yep. Hmm. So if you have a two and a half inch water main, you're gonna downsize it and you should round up to eight vacuum relief valves. All right, so so Troy, you're saying so let's say you're saying that's two and a half. Two and a half. And these are our half inch vacuum relief valves. We should have more, right? Yeah, there'd be more. If it's half inch, it'd be way more. If it's three quarter, you should have eight. Let's do them both. So it's two and a half inch. The code says I'm, um, one pipe size smaller. So two inch, I'm figuring to two inch, right? How did I just do this as far as, um, what did I do? Two times two times 0.7854. Yeah, so take the squared of the larger of the diameter squared of the smaller. So two times two is four. Actually, we'll do a, so we know two times two is four and 0.5 times 0.5 equals 0.25. So we're figuring half inch up here. Um, so we're doing, let's see, clear. Four divided by 0.25 equals, yeah. so I got 16 half inch. Let's see if the three quarter, the two inch is still going to say the same size, but the, we're going to do 0 0.75 times 0 0.75 equals 0.5625. So 0.5625 would be four divided by 0 0.5625 equals, very good, eight. So three quarter would be eight vacuum relief valves. Half inch would be 16. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pass or fail? Fail.